Overpriced listings are the number one reason why 46.5% of houses, almost half, fail to sell. Start high, lower it down little by little until you sell it right at what it's worth. I can see why people would want to do that and it does make sense logically. However, in the real world, you're going to lose money doing that every time except for one particular scenario. I'm going to tell you the most common reasons why people do this. The one reason it's a good idea and I'll explain a foolproof way of selling your house for the most money without overpricing it. Hi, my name is Brian Mayer at the Mayer Group at Remax One. If you want to find strategies you won't hear any anywhere else on how to sell your house for more money, check out my website, homesellingadvice.net. Let's talk about the most common reasons, and I think most people have more than one of these reasons at play. Some people just want a certain amount of money for their house, regardless of what you or I or anybody else thinks it's worth, and they're just going to wait until somebody offers them that amount of money. I know a guy who actually did this in Solomon's Island. Anybody who spent a lot of time down there might know who I'm talking about. It was on the market for like 20 years. He did finally get his number, but this is definitely more of a long-term strategy. Not going to work for somebody who has to move by a certain date or anybody who has another house in mind. The next group of people are those that are not truly committed to selling their house. This is more of a dip your toe in the water strategy. You know, imagine getting into a freezing pool and you kind of let your body get a, accustomed to the temperature of the water and you just slowly move yourself into the deep end but you're not one of these like jump in the deep end people you just want to move in slowly because think about it the real estate agents the haggling over the price dealing with the repairs all these people coming to see your house packing up everything that you've accumulated over the years all in a short amount of time sometimes feels overwhelming to people and they would rather just do more of an ease into it strategy the next reason most people overprice their house is probably the most common and that is that they don't trust the real estate agent's valuation. Maybe that real estate agent doesn't appreciate all the upgrades and repairs you've done. Maybe they don't appreciate your neighborhood and your area. Maybe they just don't sell a lot of houses. It's basically a lack of trust. You don't trust the real estate agent's valuation. You feel you know more about what your home is worth than what they do. So you're going to be in control and you're going to be the one who sets the price. There's actually a psychological phenomenon. This is this is part of human nature. This is science that says people believe that what they own is worth more than what they would pay someone else for the same thing. So I think my house is worth more than what I would pay you to buy my house. I also think most people are afraid of underselling their house, just giving away their equity to a buyer. That would be foolish. And of all the scenarios of overpricing your house and how it will play out, this is the only scenario in which it will actually uh, work out in your benefit. If you believe your house is worth 400 and it's really worth 450, starting high would actually work out in your benefit. But in every other scenario, this will actually cost you money. Guys, we have a better way. At the Mayor Group, we order an appraisal for all of our listings. This allows you to negotiate from a position of strength because now you know how much your home is worth. So real quick guys, in addition to the appraisal, we pay for a pre-home inspection. That will allow you to get your repairs done ahead of time and it will also allow you to sell your house for more money because people perceived pre-home inspected houses are worth more. In addition to the appraisal and the pre-home inspection, we also pay for a home Home staging consultant to come to your house to explain to you all the ways that you can position your house for the buyer that's most likely to be in the market for your house. We pay for professional photos for all of our listings. Your first showing and your first viewing is going to be on the internet. We just went over a small fraction of the 127 different factors that go into the home selling process. Pricing is a really big one and overpricing your house is almost always a terrible idea. If you want some more strategies on how we sell houses faster and for more money and how we do things differently than the average real estate agent, make sure you check out my website, homesellingadvice.net. My name is Brian Mayer with the Mayer Group.